Yo, what's up guys, it's your boy Rox again here back at it again and like always on Saturday we're gonna cover the new aim blocks update so let's get right into it and we're starting it straight off with the new Boomtown Boomer skin which does look quite nice it reminds me a lot of Borderlands style if you guys know how the game looks like a lot of black outlines and Katuna style but yeah overall pretty nice skin next on we finally got something to grind for we have a new quest to get 500 kills with the boomer to unlock the rusty rewind skin for it and it is basically a recall of the boom Plant skin but still it's quite nice to have something to grind for finally all right next on we have the new hardcore mutation it's like hardcore and caught basically double hatchet damage and double weapon damage it's pretty broken it allows you to have something like a 70 damage ak-103 headshot and it doesn't play for both arcade and comp actually which is nice all right and last with the new additions we have a new account it's this one right here and it does give you like 1k inbox which is nice straight into the balance changes which we start off with the boomer which got a decent buff to its reload speed taking it down to 1.8 from 2.3 seconds increasing the knockback from 4 to 6 basically allowing you to boost a little further than you were able to able to before and reducing its general recoil by quite a good amount by the way that's a shotgun so recoil doesn't really matter honestly all right i honestly didn't expect to see dcx so soon but they finally managed to nerf those damn pumpkins reducing the ammo from 20 to 8 which is honestly the biggest change reducing the rpm to 100 from 110 and its fire to sprint egg has been slightly increased well sad day folks sad days next Mutators now don't appear as frequent as they used to and there can only be one mutator per warding option which is good because they were quite spam at the start so yeah good change. Alright this is an interesting one now we got a bunch of changes to how long and how much score you need to win in certain pvp game modes. It now requires a minimum of 9 players for you to win. Own gun still takes 32 kills for a win on pc slash mobile lobby. Controller only lobbies only take 26 and low population servers aka 9 players or ff only, only take around 20 kills to win these apply the same to balanced gun game randomizer and mvp for space snipers it takes 24 for pc slash controller lobbies 24 controller servers only and 16 for low population and ffa servers tdm takes 100 kills for pc and controller 75 for controller only and only 50 for low population zone. And lastly, domination taking for PC, controller and mobile 250 points, basically standard again. And for low population zone, it only takes 200, which is nice, I guess. It does speed up the game a bit for smaller lobbies a bit, but hey, I mean, more kills means more XP and aim bucks. So I guess you guys know what I mean, right? All right, and lastly, the bug fixes for this patch of aim looks are spectator mode has gotten various fixes which is good server browser now displays the correct number of players as it didn't used to do it before it was a bit delayed guns will equip properly now if you have a slot empty even if it's not empty it's still so basically that's nice bunny boo boo boss battle rope has been fixed which i guess was bugged i don't know i don't play mission sorry daily quests no longer reset upon a server switch i guess it's combat exploiting and like glitching coins and stuff like that the cat minty has fixed display names and the sensible pool is now an infinite puddle aka you can't fall through the map anymore but this guy gets good so yeah nice all right this has been it with today's update boys actually quite a nice update for just general guy and pacing in general and stuff like that and if you like things like the camo grind and bug fixes even though we already have done that and all this, that stuff blah 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 but anyways we see us in some nice new game with the buffed boomer so enjoy all right here we are in the first round <laughs> i hope let's see what we can do that would be interesting for sure. I haven't done the shotgun only video ever since the super shotty was still good. And this thing is weird. Because uh, this thing, only the first shot boosts you, the second one does just doesn't do it. And you can argue if it should boost twice or not. I think it should. So let me know in the comments what you think. Should both of them boost or just one? This is why I don't like this shotgun. Damage is too inconsistent. Number one here. Yes, sir. There were more here. Well, anyways, how is it guys day been? What's going well? Oh, that's been going just fine. I mean, I literally woke up like 5 minutes ago. No. That was Noden. Okay, that was nice. Boing. Honestly, I like the drop back for the first shot, but it would be cool if it boosts for the second shot too. Like, you could do something, you could do some nice chill stuff with that. Like, hey. I mean, it would be cool if uh, it it actually didn't take the default reload speed for both. And it feels good on having eight pumpkins, man. 
But that's just how it has to be. This guy's a minigun, I'm gonna flank him. Oh, he had dead anyways. Great. They should all spawn over here, yeah, see. On 20 kills already, Jesus. This one is going fast. I need to be careful that I don't get flanked from the other side. Right, this, you can't go up there, get the tree. I mean, now we could. The boost is helpful though, sometimes. And I still got that one too, lit. That guy with his minigun. And a shotgun, Jesus. You can definitely tell I'm not the best with the shotguns, but this thing is still fun to use though. Like that, pretty much. I mean, just kind of uh, like one clicking someone out of existence is strangely satisfying to do. But yeah, the funny thing is, I also already completed that camo grind we had. Like, I did it in after, right after the update dropped. Totally great, but you can definitely expect a video tomorrow out about the other skin. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that about too. Anyways, let's end this round real quick. We only need three more anyways. And by the way, I found something out very funny with this thing. Uh, I think everyone knows the super slide that put this now. And it actually increases your momentum. Like it keeps the momentum when you boost upwards, which is cool. Well, it was quite a fun round to see us straight in the second round. Alright, here we are. Are they in the last round? Let's time it's Zanzibar because, well, it's Zanzibar. My dear, this is not a good map for shotguns. It's just how it is. Too many long angles for snipers to play around with. So this would be interesting to play, but we bought. Oh god. Got him. Of course there's two of them here. That would have been cool if I hit them actually. But no, of course not. They should spawn here. No, then there's one behind us. Right here, yeah. Twist the jumper. I hate, I don't like shotguns for a simple reason, they're way too inconsistent for me. At one point you can one tap them, then you step a meter away and boom. Apparently you just do, apparently you just hit them like with a paper towel or something. But yeah, I mean the boomer is fun, but I didn't really like it when it first released. It was just to like, why would you use it if you have the super shot? A shotgun that does way more damage than that. He, he with both his shots, oh, that sucks. You're gonna flank him, he got the same idea, that yeah I'm faster. Of course. With any other gun, I would have won that. Oh well. I mean, that's kind of the problem with double barrel shotguns. The ammo, I mean, two shots, double barrel makes sense, but still. I mean, they already did buff the reload speed by like half a second already, which is already quite big. For Would be quite big for any gun. Like, imagine half a second reload off of the... UZ or the AK. Well, anyways, this has already been the end of the second round, but anyways, I hope you guys all enjoyed this video, and if you did, don't forget to leave a like, comment, and always subscribe. It's the best way to show me that you guys like the stuff that I make, but anyways, I'm Roxy from Content Creator, and you see us straight in the next one. Ciao, ciao!